Welcome to the online portal of blended learning by NIMI DGT under MSTE. Hi trainees, my name is Samir. Today we are going to study basic fitting. Now let us take a look at the topics of basic fitting. Linear measurement dividers and calipers uses of different types of hammers v blocks measuring standards and angular measurement center dot or prick punch linear measurement and its units the base unit of length as per si is meter the table given below lists some multiples of a meter. One meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. One millimeter is equal to 1000 micrometer. One micrometer is equal to 0 0.001 millimeter. Measurement in engineering practice Usually, in engineering practice, the preferred unit of length measurement is millimeter, the British system of length measurement. Engineer's steel rule are used to measure the dimensions of workpieces. Other types of rule Narrow steel rule Narrow steel rule is used to measure the depth of keyways and depth of smaller dia. Blind holes of jobs where the ordinary steel rule cannot reach. Its width is approximately 5 mm and thickness 2 mm. Short steel rule this set of five small rules together with a holder is extremely useful for measurements in confined or hard to reach locations which prevent the use of ordinary steel rules. It is used suitably for measuring grooves, short shoulder, recesses, keyways, etc. in machining operations on shapers millers and tool and die work steel rule with tapered end this rule is a favorite with all mechanics since its tapered end permits measuring of inside size of small holes narrow slots grooves recesses etc this rule has a taper from half inch width at the 2 inch graduation to 1 eighth inch width at the end. Angular measurement Angular measurement of angles of an object is usually expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds. 1 degree is divided into 60 minutes and 1 minute is to 60 seconds. You can see the different measurement of length. Scribers. Scriber is used to scribe lines to indicate the dimensions of the workpiece to be filed or machined. It is made of high carbon steel and is hardened. For drawing clear and sharp lines, the point should be ground and honed frequently for maintaining its sharpness. The most commonly used one is the plane scriber. While scribing lines, the scriber is used like a pencil so that the lines drawn are close to the straight edge. Scriber points are very sharp. Therefore, do not put the plane scriber in your pocket. Dividers Dividers are used for scribing circles, arcs, and for transferring and stepping off distances. Dividers are available with firm joints and spring joints. 
the measurement are set on the dividers with a steel rule. The sizes of dividers range between 50 mm to 200 mm. Calipers Calipers are indirect measuring instruments used for transferring measurements from a steel rule to a job and vice versa. Calipers are classified according to their joints and their legs. There are two types of joints in a caliper. Firm joint caliper, spring joint calipers. Legs. Inside caliper for internal measurement. Outside caliper for external measurements. Types of marking punches. Punches are used in order to make certain dimensional features of the layout permanent. There are two types of punches. They are center punch and prick punch. Center punch. The angle of the point is 90 degrees in a center punch. The punch mark made by this is wide and not very deep. This punch is used for locating center of the holes. The white punch mark gives a good seating for starting the drill. Prick punch or dot punch. The angle of the prick punch is 30 degrees or 60 degrees. The 30 degree point punch is used for making light punch marks needed to position dividers. The divider point will get a proper seating in the punch mark. The 60 degree punch is used for making witness marks and called as dot punch. Hammers An ingenious hammer is a hand tool used for striking purposes while punching, bending, straightening, chipping, forging or riveting. Major parts of a hammer The major parts of a hammer are the head and the handle. Hammer is made of drop forged carbon steel, while the wooden handle must be capable of absorbing shock. The parts of a hammer head are the face, pin, cheek, the eye hole. V blocks. V blocks are devices used for marking and setting up work on machines. The features of the common type of V blocks are given in figures 1 and 2. Types of V blocks Single level single groove. This type has only one V groove and has single groove on either side. These grooves are for accommodating the holding clamps. Single level double groove. This type will have one V groove and two grooves on either side for clamping in two positions. Double level single groove. In this case, the V block will have two V grooves on the top and bottom and a single groove for clamping on either side. Matched pair. These blocks are available in pairs which have the same size and the same grade of accuracy. They are identified by the number or letter given by the manufacturer. These sets of blocks are used for supporting long shafts parallel on machine tables or marking of tables.